Welcome back. You're patching in live for Operation Blind Hawk. This is an alien abduction of moderate uh, size in Liverpool, United Kingdom. This is the first test run of our new mechanized exoskeleton combat suits, or the mechs. Uh, we've got a couple of very early prototypes of the mech suit uh, on right now on two of our, well, prototype mech pilots. Daishi and Wolfa. Now Wolfa isn't quite up to scratch just yet. He's uh, taken this one as a bit more of a training run. Daishi is fully fledged and ready to go, but her suit is not that tough, and we're going to have to keep that in mind uh, as we progress. Regardless, the rest of the squad is still in tip-top form uh, and should be able to keep them covered on this moderate abduction. Let's get down there and let's see what happens. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you 5x5. Five five. Strike 1 has the green light for deployment. It's always good to have a nice, remote observatory complex far away from the city, so you can get murdered by aliens in peace. Um, like I said before, uh, this is probably a decent enough map to have jet boots mechs on. Uh, we'll certainly, or at least hopefully, be able to take advantage of the jet boots. Uh, once we get to higher ground, uh, with at least Daishi being able to hit and run quite uh, quite frequently. Wolfo without hit and run is more going to commit when he goes in for an attack, um, but we'll see. But regardless, before we get into any of that, uh, what I'm going to be wanting to do here is clearing out this interior. Uh, Zim with the LMGs, a little bit of a... not a disgrace, sorry. <laughs> what word am I looking for? She's a little bit of a liability, um, because this map, as the settlements go, um, is pretty CQC oriented until you get to taking this roof and taking the middle. Once you take these doors and you're fighting the longer range section, having the gas machine gun is fine. We want to get it on the roof especially. But uh, in this interior section, we're going to rely a lot on uh, door breaching. So the idea here is to bust through this doorway with the mechs. Uh, as long as we don't make contact through this window on the left, continue on, set up a door breach here of the LMG and probably, you know, the sniper, and then, uh, you know, the rocket. Bust in of our mechs, flame everything that resists arrest, carry on. Uh, so the simple idea is take the main observatory building first. Once we've done that, parlay that into uh, a doorway here we can use. Breach up in the doorway, take the roof, and once we've got the roof, use that to take the rest of the map. That's a general idea. Let's see how it plays out for us. Alright. I think it's time to do this. Let's get the LMG up front. Pop the door ASAP. Get Squint in through there. Squint's lead scout, she's got a lot of important jobs on this mission. Yoshi there. No contact left, that's a good start, that's good, that's good. Headed there now. And the first steps. It's one small step for Squint. One series of much smaller steps for Daishi. <laughs> Large bounds, I guess, for Daishi. Who's following up? J Bows. Getting it done. Still paranoid about that left side contact, but once we as long as we don't make it that left side contact, we're really, you know, we're golden, we're good. Just gotta avoid that left side contact. Okay. Look out! Position confirmed. Didn't mention I picked up VBT on Varid, but uh, that was kind of assumed to be happening. VBT is really the only choice for him because lock and load just doesn't work without snapshots. It's not really much point against VBT, which is a pretty good perk. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. I'll fake possibly. Roger that. Scanning. He is out, boys and girls. Let's keep our shiny new toys ready. We have got floaters. At the very least. Okay, let's get these mechs up and ready. Headed there now. Moving out. Let's get Zim up and ready. And 
Let's get J-Bows up and ready. Well, maybe even Varid. Well, Varid can't make it, so that kind of sells that for me. J-Bows of his SMG shouldn't have a trouble uh, making that movement. Easy peasy. Fair is just not going to be too good in this CQC breach, but hopefully the mechs will pick up a slack. On my way. If not, there's always Ghost. Look out. Ubicación confirmada. I'm watching. I'm overwatch. Got it covered. Thinman left. Let's get this breach done before we get hit in our back. Hmm, nada. Well, we might actually be clear in here. Maybe. Screen the right side. Moving. Yeah, we might just be clear. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna want to set up this door breach next and take the roof in one movement. I see you ready yourself. Moving. Bring Wolfen back. Heading to that location. Let's get ready for this as quickly as we can. Waste as few turns as possible. Roger Dodger. Whoop. Alright, you can take this position for right now. We'll get you a better one soon, I promise. Hunter down to the low ground. And Stoli. We'll stick you right here. Ready to help with the breach. Bring Squint back over. And bring Daishi over, ready to go. Affirmative, Commander. All right, pop it. Alien object in sight. This is a very smooth operation so far. Surely we're about to hit contact. There you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Watch those seekers and those thin men. But I mean, watch those seekers most of all. I'm gonna need a scanner up to check where those seekers go. Put it right in the corner, maybe you'll catch everything for me. Oh, that's not where I wanted it, but okay, it works. Works. It works, don't complain if it works. Okay, 3-3, three, three. obviously we kinda gotta deal with these uh, seekers first. Now I can hit and run. The seeker is no problem. Your default defense is 20. Really? That's amazing. What's the deal with that? Is Are you counting because the nearest enemy has minus 20 to you? Is that what you're counting? Or do you actually have 20 on that suit? 25. I don't know, actually. Maybe you make ones just come with 20 inbuilt. It's been so long since I used them, I, uh... Actually, having a hard time remembering. New position confirmed. Regardless, doesn't matter too much. We can go over to the side here. Okay. And take our first steps into mech them. Yep. That's a good step. Target. Pacified. Which is good, because this follow-up one isn't going to be as fun. Yeah. Mechs ain't sharpshooters. As cool as they are. Debris in optic system detected. Oh yeah, and they complain about debris in their optic system a lot. It's just an excuse. Heading out. Alright, minigun, let's see what you can do. Not bad. Railgun would have finished the job. But we ain't got railguns yet, Wolfa. We only got one of them. Let's 
Now, Hunter's got dense smoke for the rooftop, I think. So we should be able to start putting people up there. At least a few of them. I affirmative. Maybe even Stoli, maybe. Zim probably wants to stay right where she is and uh, lay down the smack. We've still got these two Seekers, which are priority to deal with right now. I can put a J-Bal's uh, brand rocket into him. But apparently I can't hit both of them, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that smoke up. Please. You can do it, Hunter, I believe. Maybe we should move Hunter over. Okay. There we go, that looks better. We're gonna do a sweet roof smoke, as you do. On these half cover roof people. Alright, that should make him nice and happy. I don't think Zim's gonna catch any of that, that's fine. You guys are just gonna force me to shredder you, aren't you? Such is life. Now, Shredder sometimes ignores verticality, doesn't it? So this might actually be okay. Won't even know what hit him. There you go. He's gonna hurt. Sometimes I forget how good Shredder rockets are against Mech. Sometimes I really do. Okay, I can probably pop uh, suppression on this guy. It'll be the smartest choice, I think. Keep him from doing anything too nasty. Here come dash. And... Verity kind of just gotta chill. That's what you gotta do right now. Turn. At least it's with three thin men to deal with on our test run. Still ironing out the kinks here. I've never really used a hit and run team before. Oh, with mechs. That guy doesn't look very fun. Yeah, I figured that might be coming. That's alright. I got a left guy right there. And what can we do flamethrower wise? Can't quite flame him just yet. Can't quite flame either of them just yet. Danger zone will not encompass these two together, I don't think. And unfortunately these two can't really make any movements without exposing themselves to uh, copious amounts of acid damage. Squint could start to run in here, and start to bring in Wolfa. And by bring in, I mean scout out for additional cons. Uh, there you go. Now these guys are a problem. I think I saw about five floaters, and one of them is definitely heavy. You gotta watch out for heat ammo on the heavy floaters. That's obviously... Death Incarnate. Ah, and I haven't got autopsy on heavy floaters, so I don't know. I mean, obviously that's Death Incarnate for your mechs. Death incarnate for anyone, really. I need to get Squint to a safer position, I think. That makes it pretty tough to deal with. I need to get Zim up on the high ground, but, uh... Right now, I got I really got enough problems. Those floaters are not welcome. Okay, can I get up on the roof without getting acided? No, so right now I want to stay where I am, regardless. Kill some motherfuckers. Fairy needs to move over to a position where he can get some work done. Daishi needs to start getting work done. Probably by moving all the way over here, getting ready to take out that thin man. Location confirmed. Let's go wide of you, Daishi. Let's 
Spin's gonna back off. What does that leave Wolfer doing? Wolfer is even more brittle than usual, so I gotta be real careful with what I do with him. We might keep the team together. It makes the most sense. Although, on the other hand, keeping Wolfer around means if the floaters charge me, I can bust out and flame them, and that might end up being very important very soon. So I might do that instead. Order confirmed. Might be worth taking the 1 HP damage off J-Bells and Stolly and getting out of position of these, uh, getting out of sight of these floaters. Because they're not going to be fun to deal with. If we can get interior, we can uh, kind of off-put having to deal with them for a little bit longer. Plus, j Bells won't really mind being indoors. That's, that's like, fine. That's not going to bother him. They're kind of sitting ducks up there right now. Although, I can kind of wait right now because... Uh, I've got the dense smoke. It should be okay for right now. It's probably next I need to start worrying about that kind of shit. So for right now, probably okay. Let's go party with... Wolf up! What are you up to, Zim? You don't have the dense smoke everybody else got. And you got a lot of people looking at you. A tactical withdrawal isn't the worst idea right now, I think. I wish I could put you up on that roof back and you acid, but it will get you acided, I think, and then that just fucks everything. I can cross you over to the left. But you're still gonna get shot at. I could cross you right back. Hmm. Gonna get acid if I hunker you. Ooh, that's not a bad move. Why don't we stick you over here? That's not too committal. That's not too committed, but it still keeps you involved. Alright, Varid can come and join you. Recibido, señor. I'm gonna leave Hunter in the middle right now, watching, uh, watching the middle, ready to help. Look at these two. Let's see what happens with these floaters showing up. These guys are a problem. These guys are an issue. These guys are landing themselves, I don't know why. I have no idea why they're doing that, but I appreciate it. Christ, they can see Wolfer. Incoming fire. Usually you can camouflage your mechs behind uh, heavy cover like that. But in this case, you got an angle on them. Okay, so I have no in idea, like, in God's name, why the floaters are doing this, but I need to take advantage of this now. That's a lot of firepower, and this is my best chance to murder it all. And yeah, I can shred a shitload of that. Okay, he is taking cover there, is he? Okay, then... Oh god, he's got tax sense. Then I'm gonna wanna... Fuck all of that up. Yes, I am. I'm gonna wanna use both these guys. Ah, the acid's fucking her up. No matter, I can still blow up a lot of, um... Cover here. Yes. Yes, 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 I think yes. Yes. It all starts with the shred, I think. Fuck it, started off with the cover destruction. From Stoli. We need all this uh, cover kaboomied. Uh, regardless of what else happens. Do it. Take that acid hit, Stoli. You love it. There goes their cover. Now don't panic. Well done. Now the shred. 
Now you can see why I wanted to destroy the cover first, right? Right. Although I gotta bias this towards the back floaters most. They're the most important to hit. If it hits these front guys, you know, that's good. Uh, and sadly, this is a position where an in the zone, uh, an in the zone Pathfinder would have been amazing. Um, but, it's not the choice I made. Certainly I don't usually expect floaters to do this. Great shredder. You can panic now if you want. Nope, okay. Farad's got shot on somebody, and he's got no snapshot, so he may as well take it. That shot isn't really going to get any better. You're not going to kill him though, but a disable could buy us some time, and that guy looks big. Oh yeah, that guy's big. Yeah, a disable could buy us some time here, I think. See what you can pull off. Nice job. Very well done. Now Wolf is going to have to go handbone here, which is not what I was expecting from him. Like I said, he's kind of in that teething stage, support mech stage right now. I, you know, this isn't really what, I'll be do what I really want to be doing of him right now. But I don't really have a choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. Right here. I kind of just have to go for gravy gold. Speaking of which, that overwatch needs to be cleared by somebody and Squint is in position to do it. I could run you down here and then go for it. That clears the overwatch, which then lets the rest of the fun happen. You're standing there. Duck hard, Squint. Nice. Good. But we need to secure our right flank. Enter Wolfa. I'm on my way. You're going a little bit more ham than I was expecting, Wolfa. Yeah, you are. Wow, that is considerably more hand than I was expecting. Do it! Yeah, that's what we like to see. One heavy float of panic, two- oh baby. Wolfa, uh, I always knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Squint, he's got your flank covered, take the shot. Okay, where does that leave us? We 70% on him. He's disabled, that's fine. And we killed the other one. The only remaining threat, as far as I can tell, is this guy. Alright. Well, let's deal with this guy then. Heading out. Big bada boom. Mind the acid, as I did. No longer a threat. And big bada boom. Actually, LMG. May as well let her take her shots first. What you got? Nothing. Hit it. Got it covered. Almost out of ammo. Care of. Okay, Hunter. You can come out now. It's all good. I'm all over it. Everyone did their jobs well. Okay, just uh, just watch them. I feel, Commander. Watch for reinforcements. I'm not sure if this is all the floaters or if there was another one. Okay, we need Stoli healed up and we need to get on these arc throwers now. We've got at least two more turns before these guys unpanic. Flamethrowers, if you've never used them before, uh, are a pretty fucking amazing weapon, as you just saw. Not only do they lay out a fucking swath of fucking destruction, nerfed in Beta 15, but in Beta 14, we're still in Beta 15, 14 world here, where Flamethrowers did a lot of damage. In Beta 15, the damage is nerfed, but the panic is still the same. Um, they do a lot of damage, plus they have a chance to panic. Luckily, both the Heavy Floaters panicked, because their will ain't that great. 
Um, and they should be panicked for another couple of turns at least. So we want to get on capturing them uh, ASAP. Let's get a scan out. I'd like to know what else is out here. If you can. Maybe not. Move up and heal. Moving. Get her back on the case. Don't move. You'll be fine. It's gonna cure the acid, and we can move in for some captures. Or at least, you know, you start to. The game is in position. Okay, probably him first. He's the easier one to take, obviously. So she's remaining ready. I'm on my way. Just get ready, my robot heroes. Just get ready. Paso ligero. And nicely done. Ready to engage hostile Ready targets. Ready to engage. Okay, they're still on fire. Good for them. That one's still repairing. Good for it. Let's see what we're looking at here. Heading there now. Location confirmed. We're looking at a canister, apparently. Cap him. Nice. One heavy floater captive is mine. Let's prepare for two if we can. I'm on my way. Keep them nice and covered. Moving out. Man, the gantry, boys. Voy hacia ese lugar. All right, hold your side, Squin. Just hold your side. <laughs> Moving to Overwatch. 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 I should have one more turn of panic on that guy. We can think about wearing him down. Crossover. Yeah, boy. At least one more turn, anyway. Maybe more. Who knows? Ah, meltdown. I think the heavy floater cap is more worth it in this case, though. I think if I cross Daishi around the other side. That's affirmative. Should be able to get a disabling shot on him. Need to lower his health down as well, of course. Let's do two birds and one stone. Let's do ghost auto pistol and apply some hollow targeting at the same time. Wow, nice. Really nice. Excessively fucking nice. Um, is he shredded? No, he is shredded. I don't want to take the disable then. Just because of VPT. VPT will probably kill him. Yeah, fuck that. Just take the stun. Good luck. Okay, just keep him covered in case he does anything stupid. I just love to do things that are stupid. Fire shot. Headed there now. 
Luckily, right now we've got him hemmed in so he can't see uh, the engineer. So he can still see Squint. But he should take the max as his first choice, I think. Hopefully he hasn't got heat ammo, I'm not actually sure. Overwatch. I don't know if we're gonna... I think we might have one more turn here. Nope, he's back. So take him the fuck out. Oh, Zim, this fucking bug. Not right now, please. Need you to kill this thing. It's loose. Thank you. All mission objectives completed. Alright, well, I think that was a pretty effective test run of the mechanized exoskeleton combat suit. What do you guys think? <laughs> the flamethrower is a pretty marvelous weapon. Just like they say, um, the Gao 8 is the gun so beautiful they built a plane to go around it. Um... The flamethrower is a weapon system so beautiful we had to build a robot to carry it for us. Uh, and <laughs> that's how I feel about the flamethrower in Beta 14. Haven't got to try it in Beta 15 yet, though. I know they nerfed the damage on it. Um, but still, the panic's very useful. Um, regardless, we don't have to think about Beta 15 right now. We're still in the wonderful world of B14, where the flamethrower scorches the earth like nobody's business. Um, but that was a pretty good test run. The heavy floaters showing up was a bit scary, but... That was a pretty good test run. Wolfer, uh, <laughs> Wolfer ended up being the star, but Daishi was definitely no slouch. And we got a capture out of it. Good stuff, let's get back to base. Excellent. Our troops returned without a scratch, and they managed to recover more of the alien meld substance. <laughs> So at the start of this mission, I was like, maybe Wolfer will level up if he gets enough kills. Not knowing that Wolfer was about to, like, flame on about five aliens at once. So now Wolfer's made it the gunnery sergeant, which is very convenient for me. It really was his training test run operation. He's, uh, he's not at full capacity just yet, but he's at pretty good capacity. Master sergeant will bring him absorption fields, and at that point, I'm going to feel a bit safer to take the training wheels off and say, okay, Wolfer, you know, you can take the hits a bit more now, especially with damage control and repair servos. Um, but Gunnery Sergeant was still an important level to get because, ignoring VPT, uh, it's hit and run versus Close Encounters. Close Encounters is definitely good um, because it gives you that bonus versus Flyers. But I think hit and run is better for Wolfer because, again, he can combo with the Jet Boots with Daishi, go up on a roof, hit and run, hit and run, fall back. As opposed to just running up and face tanking of Close Encounters. Uh, you know, I'm more willing to take the fact that Wolfer won't be able to double shoot flying units if it means I can get those hit and runs. Uh, I, I like that idea a lot. So it's going to be hit and run for Wolfer. And him and Daishi are going to be the hit and run bandits. Stoli up to Gunnery Sergeant uh, is additionally quite nice. Uh, and I can easily pick up Packmaster for her. Um, in Beta 15, I think Packmaster is up against extra conditioning. And I think I take extra conditioning like every time. Um, but with Will to Survive, Will to Survive isn't nearly as strong as extra conditioning is, uh, in my opinion. So I'm more privy to take Packmaster versus that. So Packmaster will be quite a hot pickup for Stoli right there. And she's a gunny. Stoli's growing up. Got an alien rifle. Heavy floater captive. Ain't nothing to slouch at. Is that our first one? I can't actually remember. And yeah. We will be in touch, Commander. I think we can safely say the mechs uh, work, Commander. I think the suits work. All right. Carry on camping as we do. No. I have denied your request. No. Level power armor is complete. Now this gives us access to Banshee, Aegis, uh, and all, quite importantly the Mech 2 suit. Now, like I said, the Mech 1 suit is definitely a prototype. It is not very good at taking hits. The Mech 2 is where you can kind of start to think about taking hits a little bit. So we want to get some Mech 2s built. I know we only just got Mech 1s, but we want to get Mech 2s built real quick. Trust me, like, you do not want to sit on Mech 1 for long. Um, we've got Impact Vest available now as well, which is shock absorbent armor for our close range uh, assault troops. Um, shift defenses we're not going to bother with, probably. Um, but yes, Aegis armor and Banshee armor are available. The thing is, we're starved on alloys right now. Um, but these armors are definitely very good. The mech 2 is, I think, where the mech really becomes a mech. The Aegis, um, it's not actually that great an armor, it's a stopgap. 
if you're not going to get the Titan armor any soon, uh, build Aegis, you know, it's a good stopgap. Now that said, we probably are going to get to advanced power armor fairly soon, so I don't think I'll stop on Titan. I, I mean, I don't think I'll stop on Aegis, I think I'll save my allies for Titan. And we are starved for alloys right now, so I mean, you know, it, it's just as well that we do. Um, pulse lasers are actually really in my grasp if I wanted them. Alien Propulsion is also within my grasp, which is definitely something I want to get on faster than I did last time in TNX. Plasma Weapons, it's a whole new world out there, man. It is a whole new world. Uh, let me have a look at what it costs to build these items. You can see here, 25 alloys for an Aegis. It's going to give you 7 health compared to Carapace's 5. Like I said, if you're stalling out, you're not going to get Titan anytime soon. That plus 2 health can really make a difference. Plus, I'm pretty sure the extra con bonus you get is even bigger because it's the third tier of armor, technically. So, I mean, if you've got extra con troops, they're going to make good use of Aegis. But, uh, and I made good use of it in TNX, but I don't think I'll bother with it right now because Titan should be along fairly soon. And we're going okay with the Carapace right now. Though, trust me, getting that Titan is important. I definitely want to get on that. Banshee uh, takes you back down to 3 health. Which isn't super hot, but it's your grappling armor, it's your light armor. Notably, it does give you plus 15 defense with its plus 4 mobility. So, I mean, that plus 15 defense, coupled with something like tax sense, you can probably keep a squishier troop with that, you know, less, two less health. Quite safe with Banshee armor, plus you've got the extra mobility, plus the grapple, you know, it's not at all a bad choice to make. Um, but, you know, that's compared to Carapace. When you compare it to its actual contemporary, you're trading another 4 health, you know, it gets a little bit squishy. Um, regardless... I'll probably wait for Corsair before I go grappling of anything. Now the Mech 2 is going to cost me a wild 50 alloys. So hopefully we get another UFO soon and I can afford one of these. It's going to put one of our Mech 1s out of action for the duration it takes to build it, by the way. Uh, you upgrade your Mech suits. You don't build new ones at the next level. So it, it up basically takes one of your suits and upgrades it. But regardless, that is going to be really, really important for us to get done. Um, so yeah, I think I'll hold off on building anything. Just save my alloys for the Mech 2 right now. I don't want to do any alien base assaults until I get the mech 2s. I've, I, I forgot how horrifically squishy the mech 1s are. Um, I don't think I'd want to go anywhere near a base assault with mech 2s. So I think we should wait until we get a... Uh, with mech 1s. So I think we should wait until we get mech 2s at the very least. Now, for research, uh, I want to save those alloys until I can get a mech 2 out. That's my focus right now. So I'm not going to go for the advanced power armor just yet. Or in fact, I can. Uh, it just means I need to switch it. So, like, I can go advanced power armor right now. I can start researching it in case I come in like a, you know, like a, a windfall of alloys suddenly, which is very unlikely. Like a transport lands or something. Um, and then I can switch it off and hopefully get the alloys back as I need them. There's some alloys, railgun is complete. Which is nice, next time I'll have real guns. Proxy mine launcher is complete, consider Renzo ready for action. Contact Although I was really saving her for the- ooh baby, are you gonna land? Cause uh... I was just talking about how I really need some alloys, and you're just looking so sexy right there, just doing your little scout mission. Are you gonna land, scout? Because I could really use that. Remember, if it doesn't make any turns, it's landing. And it's not making any turns yet. I think he's delivering us a piping hot serving of alloys. Oh yeah, land right there, baby. Right there. You know you want to check out- Oh, yes. Contact detected. Yes! Okay. Okay. So, I don't really want to take um, Renzel on a small scout of all things. Which kind of leaves me with no mechs to take right now, unless I uh, exhaust, you know, Wolfer or Daishin. I don't really want to do that. So we're going to leave the mechs out for this one. And we're going to go on a little bit of an alloy recovery operation. Let's do it.
All right, so it's a bit tough to mince around who's getting the med kit and who isn't in this squad because uh, usually I tend now that I've got two scopes on my snipers, I usually tend to stick one on DSM uh, on my scouts. I sorry, but DSM has to bring the gross canoes in this case because W ain't psychic. Damn it, W you need to become psychic already. Um, so it kind of made it hard to pick who gets the kits in this case. I was gonna put it on copper top, but honestly, an assault with 12 health was not something I was looking forward to. So yeah, I didn't want to go through with that. So instead, I stuck it on Van Dorn. I'm losing the plus 10 aim, plus 10 crit off bipod. But his main job should be suppression, so we're just going to have to deal with that out in the field. Um, other than that, it's a slightly light on the ranks, uh, small scouts recovery squad. Um, Payfox going so far as to bring the uh, Cognitive Enhancer to get extra XP, leveling up her up for uh, potential future archer duty. Instead of bringing like an extra shredder or something, we should be okay with the limited number of rockets because it's a uh, it's a small scout. You've got less contact. Um, we tested bringing the arcs. Copper top getting some work experience of all the other assaults being master sergeants right now. Jive getting some work experience of all the other infantry being master sergeants. Van Dorn is leading him out, getting himself some experience as well. Van Dorn needs to be up at master sergeant already. It's not right him being at a lower rank. Uh, and then we got DSM Gamage and WMC filling out the roster. It is nothing new. It is nothing weird. Uh, it's just a standard XCOM recovery squad at this point. You guys should be used to it. Let's hit launch, let's get out there, and let's bring back those alloys, and let's pray there is enough for a mech 2 right after this operation. Prepare for deployment, strike one. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. The alien craft set down in a remote area. Securing the site is our top priority. As always, we should eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Alright, well we will be touching down to recover those alloys in Operation Bloody Dawn. Bloody, bloody Dawn. Join me next time for that one. Until then, have a good one.